Hello, and welcome to the Z Huts Arduino Beginners Projects. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a sound activated alarm. Now, as it's set up right here, and how I'm going to show you isn't very practical, but uh, this is just a beginner's tutorial to get you started with Arduino if you're just getting beginning with it. But uh, this could easily be modified to use an old car alarm and relay instead of having just the little speaker on the board. And you could put this in a vehicle and if the win window got broke it would set it off and basically you'd have your own homemade car alarm. But for this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to set it up with the um, little speaker connected right to the board and uh, if you go to the website and you'll find a link in the description below I'll also have a schematic on there on how to hook it up with the car alarm as well. So what we'll do first is I'll show you it working and then I'll open it up and we'll show you how to build this. Okay, we got it powered up. And when you make a loud enough noise, it sets the alarm off. Now you can adjust the sensitivity. There's a little potentiometer right there and you can use that to adjust the sensitivity on this. So let's take a look at how it's built. Now of course we've got our little sound board. Um, there's no number of model numbers on this. They're just listed on lines like a sound module board. Um, I'll have some links on the website on where to get these as well. So we've just got that and then I've got a plug in for a wall wart, but you could um, also connect this to like a car battery if you were going to use it as actual car alarm. And of course I got my little speaker up here. Right, one more screw. Now we can open it up. Now, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to hook in this up at all. So what we got is the speaker, and that's connected to digital pin 9. Um, I just randomly selected a pin. If you change what pin you put it on, just change that in the Arduino sketch. Then I have the soundboard. That's connected to digital pin 3. Because we're doing digital reads, we're not doing analog reads with this one. It, the um, volume or the sound is loud enough, it just switches from low to high, from zero to one. And that's what we're monitoring in the sketch. Then of course I'm using an external power supply. So I have that connected to the, the VN. Do not connect it to the 5 volt. You want to connect it to the VN because I was running 9 volts into this and your Arduino board is uh, only 5. Then of course we got the power and ground for the soundboard as well, but uh, as you can see the whole project fits right in this little box. Um, you might be able, if you jammed things in pretty good and was careful, you could probably get the relay in a box this size as well if you're going to use it as a car alarm. Otherwise you can get project box, just boxes just slightly bigger than this. All right. Um, We'll do next is we'll go over to the computer and we'll take a look at the, the sketch for the Arduino. See you there in just a moment. Okay, I've got the Arduino sketch brought up here. And uh, like I mentioned before in the video, uh, to find a copy of the sketch, just simply go to the website. You'll find all that information there. And I'll also have the other sketch um, if you want to use this with a relay to use with a car, um, old car alarm. So that uh, as well will be on the website. So as you can see here, there's not a whole lot to the sketch. It's pretty simple. That's one of the reasons why this is a great uh, beginner's project when you're first getting into Arduino because the circuit's easy to hook up and the sketch is real easy. So we'll go through the sketch here real quick. Now we got first here is we uh, got an integer and this is to store the value. It's going to be zero for off and one for on. One would mean that the soundboard uh, detected uh, sound loud enough to set it off. 
Next, we're defining our uh, pin that the, uh, the sensor is actually on, and we're just calling that sound, and I have it on, on pin 3. So then in the setup, we are just setting our pin mode, and this, of course, is an input. Then in the void loop, what we're doing is we're digitally reading the sound. That would be the pin 3, the sound sensor, and we're setting that value of 0 or 1 into the value integer. Then what we're doing is we're testing if the value is 1, which means sound has been detected, we go into this for loop, and what this is doing is it's repeating the alarm several times. Instead of typing this out 20, 30 times, depending on how many times you want it to cycle before the alarm quits. And to change this, that's that number right there. I have it set to cycle through five times. You could set that to 100, you could set it to 10. Just remember the longer you set it, the longer it'll be going through because it takes one second for each time it goes through. And then what we're doing here is we're putting a slight delay after it goes comes out of the for loop. And that's just so that the tone's not still going off and accidentally re-triggering itself. Um, when I first tried this sketch, I forgot to put that in there, and the alarm just continuously went off. It was uh, actually just setting itself off. And, uh, well, that's all there is to the sketch. It's pretty easy. You, know, you shouldn't have any problems. And if you don't want to type it in, you can go to the website and just copy it and paste it in your Arduino IDE. So with that, we'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I uh, hope you have a great day and have fun building.